is the Futaba T8FG which I used to fly my Phantom and I've currently got a throttle spring kit installed. This is the throttle, it's one of these type and so the throttle springs to 50%. It doesn't stay down the bottom anymore. And what I'm going to try to show you here is how I've got my timer set up to automatically start and stop when I move the throttle. It'll start when I move the throttle and it'll stop when I do the CSC or when I bring it to the bottom, which you should never do when you're flying. So, uh, currently I'll take it back to the default screen and I'll go to ST1. Now what I want to do here is I want to set start to J3, stop to J3 and reset to SH. This is J3 and this is SH. It's got it written next to it. It's a momentary switch so that'll be good to reset. If I go down to this start push the button, it's on J3, go back to on off and use these settings reverse, symmetrical and whatever that means I don't know. Then move to set and this moves your throttle. I just have it just above the mark and then press return and that will set like that. So that means as soon as I move outside that little black band area with my throttle it's gonna start the timer. Go back. Stop. Same control but this time I have a normal linear instead of symmetrical which means I get a straight line starting from wherever I put this and I put it right down to the bottom which means as soon as I reach that area then this control is going to come into effect you can put it wherever you want. Right. Go back here. The last one is reset and I've just got that assigned to SH. And here, off, on. So control has no effect until I move it to there and then it has the effect and the effect is reset. So, as soon as I move the stick, it starts, which is what I want, and then I can fly around, and then when I bring the stick right to the bottom, it'll stop. So if you do that while you're flying, yeah, you're going to stop the timer. And that's reset. Hopefully that helps you. Thanks for watching.